Warm welcome, Markus Termin. This is the Astrologisches Stundenbuch, Book of the Hours. It's the 20th of January 2024. And this is a changing day. We're into changing energy. Lots of you know anyhow. I put out the chart for the moment when the sun and the moon at the same time enter air signs because Aquarius is an air sign and the sign of Gemini is an air sign too. And as you might notice, Pluto a little later this night around one or two o'clock will enter the air sign of Aquarius also. A lot of you might have heard of that. Pluto did it for a short period already last year. This year will be a far longer period. He will, however, uh, move backwards a little bit throughout, I think, six weeks in autumn time. But then, as everybody knows, he will enter Aquarius for good and stay there for a long while. An interesting fact is, what does air sign mean? We generally have the shift from an, 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 an earth sign, um, Capricorn, to the air sign um, Aquarius. And interesting is that if you look at the zodiac, every sign following the, the other one is not only a development, um, Aquarius is the development of Capricorn, but it's also kind of an opposite. If um, Capricorn is stable, strong, ruling, um, 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 dealing with authority in general, the air sign is moving, um, is quick, is light. Uh, the concept of the so-called four elements in medieval times that we still use in astrology, and it's quite useful, meant any sign of Earth means everything that is hard and stable. So wood is an earth sign thing too. Iron is earth sign. Then you come to the water energy and water is everything that is flowing, not only water, but in this sense, every liquid is a water element. Um, and liquid is something that is still earth bound. You know, it's not up in the air, it's <clears throat> connected to the earth. And then we come to the section of, um, of air signs and air is not um, bounded to the ground anymore. Air is, is going out there, it's far out. And this is the energy that we come to. If we come to the last point of the fire energy, what is fire energy in the sense of medieval elements? Fire energy is um, not only fire, but it's anything that changes something in a way that it is, it's getting really new. In, in, in one sense, it's destructed because fire burns the wood and changes the elements completely. Um, but it's also a metamorphosis. So the fire element is metamorphosis through inspiration. It's already far out there. It's in between spirit and matter. Um, so this is a short take on the, on, on the nature of the elements. And we come to a, a period of time where we get out of the earthbound quality into the air quality. And this is, I think, pretty much what we need. And the start is not bad because we have the sun in the sign of Aquarius and the moon at the same time in the sign of Gemini forming a perfect trine. And a perfect trine is a positive thing. Also, the change happens while we are still for a few days in the reception in between Jupiter and Venus, which showed up to be very strong and very uh, in a kind of protective to um, um, lots of things happened through the period of the reception um, that we have for some weeks now in between Venus and Jupiter. So this is not a bad day. Um, interesting is that we have still, of course, the opposition in some kind of Lilith and the Piscean forces. Never forget that Neptune and Pluto 
um, have a combination of common harmony. They, the the, the um, orbit of Pluto and Neptune are um, connected in a resonance of um, two-thirds exactly, which is an interesting fact. Okay, when is this change going to happen? When could we feel something today? Middle European time, it's the afternoon in between two and three. Um, and then the next change of Pluto is going to come not exactly today, but in the night, I think in between one and two. Um, so let's see if we can feel something point on the day and let's make this the, the, the era of hope, you know, of, of um, freedom also. Aquarius is the sign of freedom and let's get out of the corporate business stuff that I think Fox News yesterday called worldwide fascism. You know, they go out pretty far. Interesting enough, what is happening out there in the so-called information kubernetes, something is moving and everybody feels it. Thank you for listening. This is Markus Thermin, Astrologisches Stundenbuch. If you want to get in contact with me, use this mail address down here at my German blog site. You'll find the conditions for a consultation. English is not my native language, but I love to speak it and I have a lot of English clients. So just um, feel welcome to call. We'll have a good talk. Thank you very much. Markus Termin, Astrologisches Stundenbuch, the 20th of January 2024. <laughs>